We all have busy lives, so finding time to do something else besides working or being productive is easier said than done. But at the end of the day, we all know that the way we feel cannot only influence the results of our work, but also our motivation, inspiration and our overall health. And I realized the reason why we struggle to find balance between working and developing healthy habits for us is because we usually make things more difficult for us. We tend to only focus on things that we don't want in our lives, rather on things that we want to have more of. And I believe that in order to do that, we need to realize that all the small things matter too. That's why making the process of developing healthy habits through simple changes and adjustments can make a huge difference. Instead of seeing routines as boring tasks I would do every day, I finally learned to see them as rituals of self-love. As cheesy as it sounds, at the end of the day, we all want to feel happy, inspired, motivated, and also find a way to stay all that. For me, just having a proper morning routine that consists of getting up early, getting dressed, and making some breakfast can really set the tone for the whole day. Instead of getting up late and feel stressed because it feels like the half day is over, there's still so much to do, I really started to enjoy getting up early because this way it makes me feel like I have the whole day in front of me. I know it's not for everyone and not everyone has time to get up super early, but I believe just having 15 or 30 more minutes in the morning can make a huge difference on the way you feel because you feel like you start the day really relaxed and not in a rush. If you struggle to get up early, you can try to set your alarm clock a little bit earlier each time you get used to a specific time. And try not to use the snooze button because we all know if you snooze, you lose. Another thing can have a huge impact on your day is checking your phone the first thing in the morning. We might read some bad news or messages that might make us upset. Instead, let's use this extra time to do something that makes us happy. For me personally, having a nice breakfast in the morning can make a huge difference. I know not everyone feels like eating in the morning, but I really enjoy the process and the ritual of preparing delicious breakfast and making delicious coffee and then having time to really enjoy it slowly. Because to be honest, delicious food makes me happy. And by making sure that I have all the ingredients at home all the time makes the process a lot easier. The other habit I mentioned in the beginning is getting ready and properly dressed for the day. Especially everyone who spends a lot of time at home ends up staying in their pajamas all day long and it's really difficult to stay inspired and motivated when you start to feel a little bit sluggish at the end of the week. So I realized that the time I spend at home is special too and I need to value that because I do spend so much time at home. So now I rather see that as part of the self-care and self-love process because I feel like getting up and getting dressed and putting on my makeup feels like I put on my armor, my shield and I feel like I can do anything and I can seize the day. But there are plenty of other habits we can incorporate in our lives to stay inspired and motivated by making it easier for us. The first thing is getting fresh air. Not necessarily by getting outside, but rather by ventilating your room. If you think about it, we spend so much time in a room, either at home or at work or at school. So the quality of the air can play a huge role in our well-being. Stuffy air can make you feel really sleepy and make it really difficult to stay inspired, creative, motivated. Fresh air, on the other hand, will make you feel awake, energized and really motivated to tackle any task in front of you. Instead of avoiding opening the windows because you would need to remove so many things from your windowsill, try to keep it empty. This way you will make it a lot easier for you to just open the windows without even thinking about it. Another thing I was always bad at is drinking enough water. It didn't really spark my joy because it's just plain and boring and it was really hard to drink enough water. But as we all know, drinking enough water is not only good for you because it will increase your energy and prevent headaches, but it will also help you to think and really stay focused, especially when you want to stay and feel creative. 
If you find water really boring as I did, I would really recommend to try out the infused water, or as I like to call it, fancy or hipster water. Simply add a few slices of lemon, strawberries or any other fruits, or my favorite, just a few slices of cucumber into your water. It might sound really weird, but the water will taste so much better. And remember, we want to develop habits in an easy way. So having a big bottle prepared and next to you while you work will make it a lot easier for you to drink a lot more and stay hydrated throughout the day. Another new habit I'm working on is tidying up immediately after cooking, after being creative or just filming. A messy space means a cluttered mind that can make you feel stressed, overwhelmed or just strained. So no wonder we feel uninspired to do anything while we are drowning in that mess. So having a tidy and clutter-free space keeps not only your mind free, but it also creates more room for creativity, inspiration and easy workflow. What helped me a lot was decluttering and organizing my craft supplies. Instead of wasting your time and energy by digging through messy drawers, organize your space so that you can access your supplies more easily. This will not only help you to avoid the feeling of frustration and being overwhelmed, but it will also make it so much easier for you to get started to be creative. And to keep the mess at bay after you've decluttered everything, you might want to implement the one touch rule. You basically just use one touch to get a particular item from where it is to where it needs to be. So instead of using your pens and placing them somewhere else, just use them and put them back where they belong. This way you will not only keep your space organized long term, but it will also create the habit to keep your room clutter and mess free. Your surrounding can also play a huge role in the way you feel. Does your room or your desk area make you feel inspired to be creative? What I discovered helps me a lot is to surround myself with creative vibes. For example, with plants, inspirational quotes, scented candles, music in the background and making either tea or coffee that I can drink while I'm working. This way I feel so much more creative. Having all these things ready will not only make it easier for you to create, but it will also help you to implement those habits into your everyday routine. And don't forget to take breaks, you deserve it. I know this sounds really obvious, but for me personally, it's sometimes really difficult to take a break. I really like to be productive and get things done, but I always fall into the trap of working all the time because I always feel like I need to achieve something first and then I can allow it to take a break. But this never happens because the workload never ends. Okay, let's take a break. We worked so hard today. Um, but since I'm working from home and I'm usually all by myself, I have a, still have a friend and that's my computer. And let's talk to her. Hey Cortana, what does the fox say? Boom, boom. <laughs> Tell me a joke. What did baby corn say to mama corn? Where is popcorn? <laughs> what? <laughs> But I realized if I want to be creative and feel inspired, it's really important to take breaks and really allowing myself to enjoy them without feeling guilty. It doesn't have to be a huge amount of time or something super complicated. You can do anything that brings you joy. You can just get up from time to time, make some tea or coffee, watch your favorite show or make some food that really makes you happy. I personally like to treat myself with something delicious and healthy. I feel like if I eat unhealthy food, it makes me just feel awful and sluggish. Like I feel like I don't know what to do with myself. So instead I try to eat relatively healthy and to exercise from time to time to feel happy, inspired and really energized to stay creative throughout the day. You can even create a spa evening where you treat yourself with a nice mask <laughs> or listening to music or dancing or anything else that makes you happy. If you want to be creative, it's also important to schedule some time to refill your creative tank. Being creative all the time will only deplete your tank. You can get inspiration by watching motivational speeches on YouTube. I really like Gary art documentaries by browsing beautiful pictures on Pinterest or catalogs. 
I personally love to learn about other people's stories and views on things. This gives me not only new topics to think and to learn about, but it also makes me look at things from a different perspective, which can spark my creativity. And if you still need some boost, why not try out something new? Maybe a new art medium, maybe a completely new hobby. This always makes me feel more excited and inspired to create. Another important habit is to create consistency. We sometimes make the mistake of just waiting for inspiration or the perfect idea. Instead, just take actions and do something because the best ideas usually come during the process. What helps me is to have a schedule where I can work on projects or where I can be creative. It not only keeps me on track, but it also gives me deadlines I need to meet. Sometimes I feel like we hit this creative block is simply just because we have too much time. Remember those last minute papers or projects that we had to submit? We kind of came up with a great idea and we made it. So even if you just have a limited amount of time each day, just use that and get creative. And really learn to enjoy the process rather than the end result. You not only get better every time you do something, but will also help you to develop the habit to be creative consistently. It might not be your best work, but you will still get better every time. And if you now have too many ideas and too many projects you want to work on, just focus on one thing at a time and finish it. And when you finish it, don't forget to reward yourself. I don't know about you guys, but I really love to cross something off my list and achieve things and really see that I can do something. So creating the habit of being consistent and finishing projects will not only help you to make progress, but it will also help you to overcome the fear and the resistance you might have. So don't forget, one step a day keeps the resistance at bay. Don't forget that developing healthy habits and being disciplined with that is not about punishing yourself or anything like that or making your life more difficult. It's more about self-love. That's why I believe it's important to remind yourself why do you want to develop this new habit? Just a little reminder. It's really difficult to stay inspired and motivated if you don't know the reason behind your effort. The same goes for pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. It's not about making you feel uncomfortable, but it's about growing and becoming a better version of yourself. But part of that is also to listen to your body and really working along your energy. So check with yourself from time to time to be really aware of how you feel. So if you completely don't feel like doing anything, that's totally fine. So allow yourself to be lazy and to rest without feeling guilty about it. Sometimes we simply just need those days in our lives. And that's fine. So don't be too hard on yourself. Remember, no one is perfect, but let's try to give our best. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up to support this channel. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and to click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video on Thursdays and on Saturdays. And if you need more inspiration, you can check out my video right here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Bye!